Hello and welcome along to Mondo Chalavet Movies. My name is John and this video is going to be part two of my section one video nasty complete collection. Try saying that after 10 pints. I'll link down below part one of these videos. I'll also link the corresponding video nasty live stream uh, video that we did, me and Nigel, Rock God 2004. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. And uh, you'll see what we thought in more length of these 10 titles. Also, I'll link Double Bill Movies Trev and Bumpers Movies Craig. I'll leave their link down to their channels and you'll see that they are doing a deep dive into these movies here and they'll go into more details on their separate reviews of these titles. So what I do on this video as I did on the last one, I'll talk about these 10 movies. I'll, I'll tell you if they're readily available or not. I'll tell you if they're expensive or not and while well, some of them are and some of them aren't. Uh, I have got a list of when I write them out here. I'll be looking at a list down here. And also on my last video, I was going to tell you the grand total of what I paid for the 10 movies that I showed in the last one. And I forgot to put that down. So what I paid for the total in the previous video was £134.42, approximately. And what I'll do is I'll tell you at the end of this one, definitely what I paid for these lot. And I'll also tell you at the end of the four videos I'm going to do for the 39 uh, movies, I'll tell you what the grand total is. Now, the grand total probably is going to be quite large. But don't forget, I've been collecting these over a lot of years, so it's not as if I went out and spent that money immediately. If you're starting to get these video nasties now, look at that as sort of like the worst case scenario, what you'd pay, and try and sort of really shop around. And I'm not saying that, say, a movie here is 50 quid. I'm not saying you're going to pay 50 quid. I'm just saying if you're desperate for it, you need to collect it now, you probably have to pay around about the 50 pound, you know, in example. And what I would like you to do, if you're going to collect these, what I'm trying to do as well, what well, I have collected these, but I'll do the same with Section 2 and Section 3. Try and get these for the, the smallest amount of money that you can. It's not, uh, sometimes you've got to pay for them, but other times you can sort of cut corners, you can get DVDs, maybe. And uh, you can you can sort of knock some of the money off this. But, you know, when you see the grand total, you'll think, wow. But that's the worst case scenario. That would be if you went out and got all of these movies immediately on the versions that I've got here. Because some of them, even with slipcovers, they bump the prices up. You might want to take ones without slipcovers and not the prices down or different re uh, releases of these movies. So let's get into it. So before anyone asks how my Ferox is doing, first up is Cannibal Ferox. This is a beautiful release of a really grubby movie. This was released in about 2015 and it is at this point I would say the definitive version of this movie this is the Blu-ray it's region locked to region 8 I'll tell you throughout this video if any of these movies are region locked because I've tried these out and this is definitely region locked now when I got this one this is the three disc deluxe uh, edition you get two Blu-rays you get one with the film on you get one with the extras on and you get CD soundtrack, which is brilliant. Now, you have got your CD soundtrack within there. It's in a separate little sort of uh, thing there. You can see it. Now, I'm not going to show you the pictures in here because they are quite explicit. Now, I don't know that you don't mind that, and I don't mind showing that. But, of course, YouTube doesn't like that. So, we're just going to err on the side of caution with these. And we're just going to, so it doesn't get any problems, we'll just uh, show what we can show. But this is an absolutely great cover. You get all this on embossing, on embossing, embossing here. So this this movie here for me is one of the it's one of the definitive cannibal movies. Yes, it's got a ton of animal violence in, unfortunately. So that's one of the reasons why this one's fell foul in the UK with the censors. Now you can get this on Shameless in the UK, but it's been cut by one minute fifty five seconds, which doesn't sound too much. But when you think about it, some of these scenes that you should see are for a few seconds. So it'll probably tell you how much is taken out. But it's probably only going to be the animal stuff. I think there might be some human stuff at the end of it. But that might be up your street. If you don't like the animal cruelty, you might want to go for the, the UK one. But it is cut, but it's cheap. So anyway, I'll go through the prices on these and what I paid for them, what you can pay for them at this point. Now, this one here, I thought this would be long out of print. But weirdly enough, you can still get it. Pardon me a minute if I check my list. So I paid £25 for this, which I think is a good price for it. I mean, you get loads of stuff in here. You get the movie, and you also get a one called the deleted footage cut. Now, what they've done is they've put the full and cut version on here, and they've also put the same cut with the deleted footage put back into it. Obviously, it's standard definition, but it's a nice version to have with this whole cut in. Going back to the shameless version for a minute, 
I think there might be more stuff cut out of it than the one minute 55. But what I think what they've done is they put, I think they put some of this deleted footage back into the movie to sort of bolster the running time up so it doesn't look so much of a drastic cut, I think. But that's just me. Uh, I've never seen the version, so I don't know. But that's just in my mind, that could be what's happened. But weirdly enough, you can still buy this. You can get it from Diabolic for $29.99. But if you want to go across to Film Treasures, who are based in the UK, you can get this Blu-ray here, this edition, for £27.13. pence. So it's available. It's one of those ones. It's a big ticket item. It's maybe not for everybody. You might be better off getting the Shameless one. You can get the Shameless one for about £10. And uh, I've got to say this picture quality in here, it's pretty good, but I think it's really grainy. Now, when I took the photograph on my phone of the TV, it didn't show up any grain. But believe you me, this is quite a grainy movie. But it's a grubby movie as well, so it's not one that can sort of say, well, I want this one to look pristine. But it looks pretty good. It's about the best, it is the best version that you can get of this movie. But beware, it's got a lot of animal cruelty into it, and it's not for everybody at all. If you're thinking about saving some money and getting the Vipco DVD, it's been cut by five minutes, so I'd urge you not to go anywhere near that. So, that's Cannibal Ferox. And if you thought that movie was graphic, next up is Cannibal Holocaust. It does say, does it say on this box? It doesn't say on this one. This is the mother of all cannibal movies. Yes, it is, actually. Now, this one is an equal, this is from Grindhouse Recent as, as well. It's a Blu-ray. And it's, is it, yeah, three disc edition, two Blu-rays and a CD. The CD soundtrack on here, the CD soundtrack on there is quite good on Cannibal Ferox, but the CD soundtrack on here is amazing. The theme tune to Cannibal Holocaust is one of the best themes I've ever heard in any movies by Riz Ortolani. This is, again, this is a great edition. I can't really show you everything. It's got your, your um, CD there because it's got quite a lot of graphic stuff on the actual cover. This is, this is uh, region free. So you can buy this one and you can play it on your um, player. No problem. The picture quality on here, I find, is absolutely brilliant. Now, what I'll do is, this is this looks spectacular. And I'll also show you two screenshots back to back. I'll show you the first one will be this one. And the second one will be the 4K from 88 Films. This one from 88 Films is a 4K. The 4K of this movie, I just couldn't believe it when they announced it. Now, of course, with this getting released in the UK, it's cut. And it's only cut by, I think, about 10 seconds. And what I did, I watched the bit that was cut out. It's the muskrat scene. It's the first sort of animal cruelty scene in the movie. And it's awful, believe you me. I mean, it's always, it's fully, actually in here. It's fully available in here, but you do get a version in here, which is brilliantly done. You can watch the whole movie without any animal cruelty to take it all out. And I'll tell you what, when they take the things out, you would never know they were in that. So if you want to get both versions, this one hasn't got that version on there. The animal free cruelty one is the only, only available on this one. So that's just a side note for that. So this one here, when it was released, and I did watch that scene, it is cut out. Unfortunately, you do hear the sound that's happening of this this uh, incident and also you see the aftermath of it as well which I was quite surprised with because I kind of forgot about that bit I know you see what happens but I didn't realize you see the aftermath of it in the in the movie and you do see the aftermath and we see what happens after it it's quite sickening actually and uh, it's one of those movies where I haven't watched this one for a bit I do like this movie I think it's a great movie but the only problem I've got with it is it's the one you've got to be in the right mindset to what to watch it through but this one here, I th I think this is, at this point, is a definitive 4K of it. It looks spectacular, but it has got that slight cut in it. But if you're not that much bothered by that, then this movie's one to go for. Now, as I said, this one, I think I paid £25 again for this one. You can, it's the same again as Cannibal Ferox. At the time of making this video, which is August 2023, you can get this on Amazon for £32.78. You can also get this on Shameless Blu-ray. It has been cut quite a bit, and also it's been re sort of jigged as well. So the turtle scene, which is horrible, is being re edited. And I think it's worse actually because you don't really, you can, it's kind of slowed down and, and bits cut out or bits put in, and it dwells on certain bits. And I thought it was actually worse than seeing the, the first uncut version. Anyway, that's just my, my opinion. But this is a spectacular release.
I think that anybody who's a fan of this movie would do well to pick this one up. So you can get this one for around about £15. It usually seems to be an HMV all the time for that, although the slipcover seems to have gone now. But you might be able to get this on eBay for around about that price, £15-£20 with a slipcover. It's got a beautiful slipcover. You get posters, you get everything in here. It's a really jam-packed set for the price. And I do think this is worth a good £20 of anyone's money. And it's slight cut, but the cut in it is something that I could really live without. And uh, to be honest, I would probably watch this version from... I'll have to watch this version because I haven't watched this version at all. I don't really want to go back to the full and cut version. And I think after this one, I will watch it with the animal cruelty taken out. That'll be my go-to version of it. So that's Cannibal Holocaust. Next up is Cannibal Man, this one here. Now, first of all, I bought this on the DVD because I knew that the Blu-ray was quite expensive at that time. And I thought, I'll get this one because I've heard bad things about it. I heard that everyone say it was just absolute rubbish. Don't think of it being anything like a cannibal movie because it's not. It does have elements of in it, but it's nothing like Cannibal Holocaust. It has got a bit of animal cruelty in it and it's taken from a slaughterhouse. So it was kind of something that happened, but still not good to watch. And this one here, I liked it so much, I thought, right, I'm definitely going to get the Blu-ray for this because it's got an amazing slipcover. So this one's a flipper disc. You get this one, this movie, and you also get Mountain of the Cannibal God, which is another Section 1 band video, nasty. More about that on a different video. So I got this one. The picture quality is quite good. And I, this is uncut, but it's not really uncut because it's not the full version. There's two versions of this movie. There's like a shorter version, and then there's an extended version. So what I did was, obviously... Now, I paid about £16 for that, and I went looking for this on eBay at the moment or to buy, and you can't buy this at the moment. Just keep an eye out for it if you want it. But do know, you do get your uncut one of that one. That's fully uncut. This one is uncut, but it's a shorter version of it. It's not The gore's not cut. It's like more storyline, but I think the storyline is really important to this movie. So that's the DVD, which is currently not really in print at the minute. So I did pick up the glorious Blu-ray. This one here, I just saw that cover and I thought I have got to get that cover. Before I even knew about this movie, I thought I'm definitely getting that. But then I heard bad things about it, so I thought, right, I'll try before I buy. I got the cheapest version out there. And after seeing it, I thought, wow, this is wonderful. So I got this one. This is released by Seven. It's region free again. And it's still available. You can get this one here around about £26.12 uh, pence on Amazon. You can also get the DVD version of this for 1873 but for the extra £5-£10, I would definitely get this one. Now this one here, it does feature both cuts of the movie, and the extra, the extra footage in it is about 15 minutes, and it's really important to the story, I feel. Now, the short story of this movie is that this, this guy, he must have the, the biggest, the worst look ever. And he's not, he doesn't set out to do what he wants to do. He just inadvertently does something and it leads him down this path. It takes place over a week. He sort of inadvertently keeps on killing people. That's as far as I want to go in the story. But I find this movie to be basically a comedy. I think it's a great movie. I think the picture quality in here looks great. I'll show you both picture qualities from the Blu-ray and the DVD so you can compare them. They both look pretty good. But for me, this one just looks that much better. And to, to be honest, it's one of my favourite video nasties out there. And uh, I do recommend this highly. I've had such a great time this movie. I must have watched this movie about four times, probably more than any of the video nasties I bought recently. So you might be able to get the DVD for around about the £16 mark, but bear in mind it is a shorter cut. And you can get this one for around about 25 quid. Now, I would probably go on eBay to get this one because this is a movie that uh, you need the slipcover for this one. This makes this release. I just love the slip. Yes, you, that artwork is in there if you want to get it. But to be honest, I think this uh, slipcover makes this release. So that is The Amazing Cannibal Man. Next up is The Devil Hunter. Obviously covering some of it up there. This is a great slip. Now, this is going to be a hard slip to get a hold of. I remember when this came out and I thought, I can't believe this. This is not a sticker, but it's a sticker. And I thought this is uh, one that it was really hard to get on VHS. In fact, it was one of the really uh, expensive ones. One of the ones that I don't think anyone owns. And this would have been uh, one of the ones where you could never get it. And then, lo and behold, it come out in the UK, fully uncut, from 88. It's released by Jess. It's made by Jess Franco, so that will tell you a lot about it. And the picture quality in here is pretty good. 
So the movie itself is really nuts. It follows this group who go into this like sort of a uh, jungle area. And there's this strange bloke here. He looks nothing like that. You wouldn't believe the special effects they use on him, which are basically two ping pong balls for eyes. Now, you may think, well, that's ridiculous, but wait till you see it. It's unbelievable. There's no actual pictures of them on here. I think there is actually, but some of the pictures on here I can't really show for the obvious reason. But I had such fun with this. This is another one that everyone said. It's one of the worst ones you can see. And I had, I had a blast with it. Yes, it's it's ultra low budget. It's cheesy. It's just Franco. It's stupid. It doesn't make sense. It's got some barbaric uh, effects. By that mean, I don't mean good. I mean, the fact that I can't believe that anyone did that with two ping pong balls with some eyeballs drawn on them and thought, wow, that's going to make someone be really freaked out by this uh, this this person. And I think that's part of the, the fun of watching the video nasties because sometimes back in the day when I used to start watching these, I thought, oh, they must be all really good, really violent, really well done. And to be honest, it's the, quite the opposite of that. Yes, the hyper violence. They've got some themes in it, which are just like today that wouldn't stand up. But... Just, that's part of the charm of them for me. I just like the fact. Sometimes if I get a one, it, the after it is, the better. I think that that adds to my enjoyment of this movie. So if you wanted to buy this one, it's quite easy to get, actually. You can get this one from about $9.99 at CEX or HMV or lower. You'll be hard-pressed to get the slip with it. But if you do see the slip, jump on it because it's just so rare, the slip. Come out was one of the ones that came and gone. And if you're, if you're lucky, you'll try, you might pick the, um, the slip up. But pay no more for it. If I haven't got a slip, pay no more for it than £10. It's still in print. And you can get it on 88 store for £15, which, you know, CEX would be a best bet for this. And also, if you want, I didn't find any on eBay with a slip, so I couldn't say, well, if you want the slip, you pay £50, £60. But I reckon you'd probably pay about £30 plus for the slip cover on this. It's a great slip. I like the slip. That's why I urge anybody who's, if you hear about a new video nasty coming out, and you see it on the shelves maybe 10 15 pounds do pick it up because when you want to go back for it a slip cover will be gone or it'll be out of print and it'll be like ridiculous price on ebay and you kick yourself for not getting it i mean it's plenty of times where i've thought oh, i'll just put this on one side and get it another time and i've been sickened because i thought i don't believe it i'm gonna to have to pay big bucks for it and then you go train looking all over the place to try and get a sweet deal in it so yeah it is what it is but also if you want to get this from severin they do do a double bill of this one, Devil Hunt, and also Cannibal Terror, which is also a barn video nasty. I think it's on section three. And that's as nuts as this movie is. It's such a fun ride, but it's abysmal. So the Severin double bill is £23.42. So you might save yourself a bit of money getting them two on one disc. I don't know if it's region three or not. So that's the Devil Hunter. Next up is Don't Go in the Woods Alone. This is spine number three on the Slasher Collection. This movie, again, was meant to be one of the worst video nasties, and I don't mean that by how gory it is, just by how absolutely awful it is. But again, I had a great time with it. This is one of the first ones I got when I thought, right, I'm going to get this one just for the collection, because I'm collecting all of these ones, the Red the red Air Slasher collections. And I thought, I'll give it a go, but it'll probably sit in the shelf and never get watched again. But when I watched it, I thought, you know what it is? This is really good, really entertaining. It's bad, but it's entertainingly bad, if that's a, a thing. But this one is out of print at the moment. So at the moment, if you want to buy it, you're looking at around about on Amazon, you're looking about £36, which is a bit over the top for this one, to say the least. It's also in CEX for £20 or under, and you can get a DVD of it, of this release, which I didn't know about, for about £12. So it's one of those ones where, unfortunately, like some of these are coming up and I've had on the other episodes and episodes coming up, they're not that easy to get. Now, amazingly, I paid eight ninety nine for this when it came out. Not to be put off by the fact that you think you're going to pay £36 for this. Do think that's the worst case scenario in case you want this, but always try and get it a bit cheaper. I urge, urge you to do it with this one because it's it's one of those ones where it is really bad. Now, I'm thinking, I'm saying I really enjoy it, but if you're one of these people who don't like these bad movies, you might struggle with it. And if you want it for the collection, you might want to get it as cheap as possible. But you do get some air. Uh, you get some special features on here. It's directed by the same director who did Sister Street Fighter up there and also Jungle Trap, which are two of the best, worst movies I've ever seen in my life. So I'll give you, if you've seen those movies, you'll get a bit of a benchmark to think what you're in for for this one. The cover is really awful, but that's the original Video Nasty cover. I like something, I like these covers that are like badly drawn. 
so why not? So that's Don't Go In The Woods Alone. Next up, in my opinion, is one of the best covers ever released on a video nasty. It is Driller Killer. This is the flip of a lot on an arrow. Now, I was really glad to put this one on. It does come, you can get this one in a steelbook as well. Steelbook of that. I was tempted by it. Didn't really care for that art, if I'm honest. I was glad that they uh, put the original artist, I mean, the hat there, didn't it? But the steelbook of this is gorgeous. It's just got this one in here. And fortunately, if you want to buy the steelbook, I think it's around about 80 pounds on eBay. So yeah, you're gonna to have to pay through the nose with that. But this one, believe it or not, is a 4K restoration. In my opinion, this has always looked terrible on VHS and DVD. I would stay away from them, even though the VHS one would be one, one of the ones I would love to have, just for sort of nostalgia purposes. I remember seeing this on the video shelves and thinking, my God, what is this? And I went in for it, and the video nasty thing had happened, and this was gone. So that was when I first thought, what's up here? But this, this 4K presentation is a great presentation, I've got to say. It really makes, brings this movie back to life. You get two cuts on here as well. You get a longer one and a shorter one, obviously. And I do think that this movie, I didn't like it at all when I first saw it, mainly because I couldn't see what was going on. And it's not really, it's not wall to wall this, that this is in it, but it's not, it's not really that much in the movie. It's more to do with this bloke, this artist who lives in this um, apartment and he's got a band playing downstairs that drives him insane, this punk band, who are awful. And they deserve anything, that, everything that happens to them. But after watching this on this uh, this better version, I thought, hey, this movie's pretty good. And there's a lot more to it than I thought. It's more psychological than, it, than, it, uh, than I previously thought. But I do recommend this movie for one that's it's not this don't think you're going to see this wall to wall i think a lot of people did think that and i did think that as well and i thought well, where, where's this bit i mean they're in there but it's not as much as you would think it's not that gory as well so this movie's from 1979 i paid £12.99 for it if you want to buy it now you can get it easily on amazon for 10.99 or arrow for 18 pound but get it in a sale for 8.99 i would never buy anything on a full price, especially one that's been out for a while on uh, an Arrow, unless it was you thought it was going to go out of print, but you desperately wanted it. I wouldn't go £18 for this one. It's got to, it's good, don't get us wrong, but it's not one that would think that, especially I know in the sale, it would always be £8.99. And like I say, the steel book is around about £80, so do you really want to go there? It's a lovely steel book, but wow. So that's the Driller Killer. So next up is Evil Speak. This was released by 88 Films. I bought it for $8.99 and I'm so glad I bought it for $8.99 because if you want to go on Amazon and buy it now, it will cost you... Yeah, I'll have three of them, please. Now, if you see a price like that, £145.99, and you think, oh my God, just ignore that. Somebody has put this on with a slipcover. Now, the slipcover used to be quite easy to get. You see this in each of all the time, but it seems as if the ones went out of print and the slipcover has become really uh, collectible. It's a lovely slipcover. It's one of those uh, soft touch ones. When I, one of the first ones I've ever gotten, I thought, wow, this feels different. Brilliant slipcover, that. One of the best ones out there for a, a video nasty. If you want to get this one, it's going to cost you round about, uh, CEX, you get it for £15. If you're lucky, you'll get it with a slip. So £15, uh, £145. Hmm. It's a bit of a hard choice, isn't it? And also... On eBay, it's round about the £40 mark, and I think that's with a slipcover. I wouldn't pay £40 without the slipcover for it. I'm surprised, because this one was out for ages, and it was just there all the time in sales. And it was one of those ones where I thought, this will never go out of print, even the slipcover will go out of print. It's one of the first slipcovers I bought, and I thought, I like this slipcover. And I wasn't really into slipcovers at the time, but I'm so glad I picked it up, especially now thinking, if I wanted this one now, I'm going to have to, that's another one, get them first. And you can just forget about them. You don't have to like break the bank when you go back to them. Actually, I watched this the other day for the first time on this Blu-ray after buying it many years ago. And I had a real good time with it. I, had, I couldn't remember this movie at all. I know I'd seen it on the VHS days, but I kind of didn't think much of it, actually. But when I watched it this time, it really clicked with us and I had such a good time. The picture quality is absolutely brilliant on here. The short story is this guy, Clint Howard, who is amazing in his movies. He's in this military academy and he gets bullied beyond belief. And I, I tell you what, this bloke has no luck. Everything he does goes wrong. 
and everyone's after picking on him. So he kind of flips and he sells his soul to the devil in a kind of Faustian way. So in 1981, when this movie came out, the special effects were quite groundbreaking. They were computerized, which for a movie in 1981 was unheard of, especially a horror movie. I mean, yes, they're quite hokey now. But when you look back on them and you just think to yourself, transport yourself in 1981 and see it for what it is, you'll think, wow, that was really well done. It's quite gory as well. And I think the thing that probably got it to the eyes of the senses was, I think it was with this fella getting bullied and stuff like that. It was a bit of a, a, I think, a no-no at the time. So, but highly recommended by me. That is Evil Speak. Next up is Expose, or The House on Straw Hill, as it's pictured here. It's region free, and it's a three disc edition. So you get value for money. Now I paid, I paid £18.53 for this. And at the moment, you can get it, actually you can get a DVD of it for £16.99. And you can also get, this, there's a Spanish version out here called La Casa de la Luna de Pasta, I think it's called. And don't get that one because it's cut. And on eBay, you can get this from about £20.98. Now, I've just watched this movie as well. This is one of the only Section 1 ones that I hadn't seen before. And I put it on, and to be honest, when I was watching it to start off with, it's a British film, and I thought, and Udo Key isn't here, and he's got his voice dubbed. Although the dubbing's quite good in it. And I thought, am I going to like this? It didn't seem to be going anywhere for the first maybe 10, 20 minutes. And then it came together. And this movie is such a, it's such a good watch, actually. At first, I did think this was one I was not going to go back to very much. But I tell you what, I think I will definitely watch this quite a few times. There's an audio commentary on here as well, which I'll, I'll get into, because uh, I'm quite enjoying the audio commentaries on these ones, especially after watching the Bruce Lee audio commentaries. They're really good. So this one here, it's not going to break the bank, and also the picture quality in here varies quite a lot. I don't think they've got the original negatives at all, so what they've got to do is that they go to the best available sources. So sometimes I'll put two screenshots on, sometimes this looks really good, and other times it looks a bit hit and miss. So the first one will be the good one, and the second one will be the not so good one. Linda Hayden, who stars in this movie, she absolutely hated this movie. It says on the, you got an interview with her in the extras, and it just says about how much she hated it. But personally, I think she plays a good part. I think the movie's a great movie. I can see why she's not too keen on her performance in here, but. It is what it is. Sometimes you just get into these movies and for a movie from 1976, these things sort of were in movies and that. This movie, as of yet, doesn't have a UK release. Will it get released uncut in the UK? Yes, I could probably see it getting uncut. I can see why it was banned. It's not really, it's not that gory, but there's other reasons why it was banned. But I think you can get this for around about £20 worth. It's worth £20 of everyone's money. Now, I have heard in my comments that this version here with three discs is getting quite scarce. But at the moment, I just sent away for it, and this is one I got. So if you see that one there, do get this one because you get that extra disc on it, which has got a, a sort of documentary about video nasties. So that's Expose or House on Straw Hill. Next up is Face of the Death. This one is one of the most notorious titles on this list. It says Banned in 43 countries. I wonder what they were. I think that was a bit of an artistic license there. Now, this movie here is, it's, it's hard to describe how this movie is. It's kind of, it's real, but not real. And the picture quality on here is, is quite good, actually. I'm going to say quite good. But what they've done is they've definitely filmed, they've got some scenes of like aftermaths of things. So they went and like filmed a little section in front of that to say like that somebody gets eaten by a crocodile. They've got the footage of that, the aftermath. So what they do is they film this sort of staging of that, and they'll get the aftermath of the the video. They're pulling this bloke out of the water afterwards, and they cobble them together. And I think that's how they've done it with a large amount of this movie. But don't get us wrong, this movie is brutal beyond belief. And when I put it on, you get like a little menu screen. And the menu screen, when you see that, you see a lot of stuff that like quick cuts of things that's happening in this movie. It's quite, it's quite sickening actually what you see in it. And it's not for everybody at all. And when I got this one, it's one of the ones. It was one of the last ones I got. Kind of been putting it off. I wanted. It was one of those ones where it was available, then not available, available, not available. I paid round about the twenty pound more for this. I can't remember exactly how much I paid, but it's about twenty pounds which I think is a decent price for this. So at the moment, it's only available on Amazon. It's around about £40. 
I think that's probably what you're going to pay for this one. It seems to go on there and then gets people buy it. It's gone. So it, it's one of the ones where it's not on there all the time. Now, this is one of the ones where I'm going to watch probably all of these again. And I'm, I'm really up for some of them. Some of them are some of my favorite movies of all time. These ones is like this one. It's not a one that I want to go back to that much. It's got some great special features on here. That's one of the reasons I got it for. And one of the special features on here, it does talk about what's, what is fake and what is not in here. It tells you about how they did the sort of fakery on it. Well, you can see it a mile off. Although when you first watch it, when I watched it as a young person, I thought it was all 100% real. But then you can, you can stay, slowly tell that most of it is staged. Well, see most of it, a lot of it is. The fella who narrates it, Francis B. Gross, what a name. I don't think it's his real name. I think he's actually one of the best things in this movie. He's so like, he's got this somber tone and he's meant to be this physician who does all these things and you think he's like a proper doctor and he's, of course he's not at all, or a professor. This does say it's region A lock, but it's actually not. It's region free. So that's another reason to get it if you wanted to. So yeah, so a definitely a movie that's not for everybody. But it's a movie that, well, if you're collecting these ones, you'd be wanting to get it. So that's Faces of Death. And last on this list is Fight for Your Life. This is a DVD, a Blue Underground DVD. I got this from my good friend Paul Mahon. He sent this to me free. Couldn't believe it when I saw it. When I, Because it's one of the ones that I thought I'd never own. And this really got me. There's Paul's note there. And this really got me in the thing. Of thinking, I think I'm going to have to get these, the rest of these section ones. Toot sweet. So this movie is, it's weird because it's not really, there is a bit of gore in here, but it's not really gory at all. It's its one of the ones on here that's basically banned for the fact of its language in here. It's one of the most, now it's funny to, it's to sort of talk about this movie, and yet I love this movie, I think it's so good. Now it's got to do, it's obviously to do with the racist themes, which isn't great at all, but it's much more than that. It does... It sort of like talks about this this home invasion of this this gang and these these three creeps that come into this house of this really well respected fella and his family and what happens in this house and it's a it's a battle of wits and there's just everything going for this and I think of course if people hear it they're quite stunned by what they hear in the way of the language in it and it is quite hard to hear and sometimes it's a bit you kind of you kind of flinch because you think wow that's that's not that's not good at all. But it, it does it does come round and there's there's a lot of retribution in here which is brilliant. You're rooting for this family and well I'm not gonna go into more details than that, but this is such a good movie. Now this is released on DVD by Blue Underground. Now they would have obviously put a a, a Blu-ray out and even a 4K out of this one, because the blue the DVD looks quite good. But unfortunately the negatives in this were, were washed away in, in a hurricane or a, a flood and uh, they were lost. I'm not going to say that all the negatives in the world are lost, but the ones that blew on the ground had were lost. So they can't effectively do it until they find some bit more. So I'd love them to find another thing and get this one um, to the best quality it can. Although this one looks pretty good. But the good news for this is, I thought this would be way out of print. And I was so pleased that where Paul Mahon had sent me this one for like, you know, like a gift, which is unbelievable. And this one here is actually, if you want to get it from Diabolic DVD, it's only $12.99. Can you believe it? That's really cheap. But on eBay, you're going to pay around about £20. So I think on Amazon, I don't even get Amazon, but I think eBay is your best bet. Pay around the, about the £20 mark. It's a movie that's like no other movie on this on this list. It's, it is shocking for what it is, but it's got a, re, it's a really good... I can't go into too many details, but you do get you get a, a great sense of feeling when you're watching this movie. And it's one of the, the ones where it's, you're so rooting for this family, especially the grandmother. It's just, it's it's something that you've got to really see to be, believe. And yeah, it's it has got all that stuff in it, but I think it's really pertinent to the movie. And if it didn't have that stuff in, you wouldn't feel it the same way about that movie. It's hard to describe without going into too many details, but yeah. I have watched, I watched immediately when I watched this, I watched the commentary as well. Commentary is great. You find out a lot of things about this movie. They do talk about the fact that the movie's kind of lost uh, in time. And they do talk about the fact that when they put it out, they, they did think that have we went too far with this movie because it said 
we're going to put the stuff in of this and they thought should we do it so they did it and then thought should we really have done that but i think it works a treat and this fella here is called william sanderson yeah he's been in loads of stuff and uh he's actually every now and again he just pops up in the weirdest places you know like murder she wrote and stuff like that and again that's him off uh, fight for your life although i don't know if he likes to be associated with this movie anymore so i want to thank paul once again for sending me this movie now do get to check out those links down below the rough cut of this is one hour 16 minutes i hope to god it's not that for you i know i've had a lot of like sort of like fluffs and blunders in it so hopefully i'll cut all them out you've probably getting about 10 minutes of footage okay so i'm just coming back on the end of this video quickly to tell you that my favorite movie in this video is cannibal man this is the one that i recommend the most can't get enough of this movie it's absolutely brilliant and it's i can't believe that it's got such a bad reputation as well because it's just it's one of the most kind of enjoyable video nasties there is out there so that's cannibal man also i'm going to say that the hardest one to get in this section of this video is faces of death mainly because one minute you go online to, to get it and it's there sometimes it's for a decent price sometimes 40 pounds sometimes 20 pound but it's this one just seems to go in and out of um availability all the time so for me i would recommend you getting this one because it's got this amazing kind of uh, special features on here and the picture quality is pretty good so for me i would say that this is the hardest one to get at this time that's face of death also the total i paid for the movies in my first video was 134 pounds 42 approximately and the amount i paid for the movies in this video was 135 pounds 49 which takes a running total up to 269 pounds 91 approximately but hopefully you can get them for much cheaper than that so Thanks for watching, you take care, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.